Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Have you ever had one of those days where everything you touch just goes wrong? And I'm not talking just about soap making or candle making or anything else. I am talking everything you touch goes wrong. Well, I recently had one of those days and I'd woken up in the morning with this intention of making this beautiful rose soap. I had all the colors selected. I had all my roses piped out. I had the design in mind of what I wanted to do and I got stuck into making it and the fragrance oil had other ideas. And what I ended up with, I didn't even end up with soap on a stick. This one accelerated much worse than my dragon blood soaps have ever accelerated on me. And it was at the point that I couldn't even get it out the bucket. So what I've actually done is made this video anyway to show you that when you are presented with this sort of situation, you don't have to just throw that soap in the bin and experience a loss or waste with it. There are ways in which you can fix that soap. May not be the prettiest soap, but it's still soap. Let's go and see what I did. Okay, so let's jump into making this rose soap. As always, I've got my oils and my lye water down to room temperature. I'm just gonna combine the two, mix them to emulsion, and then I have a couple of colors to split it out to. All right, so it is quite cool today, so I'm not gonna mix it too far at the moment because we are working with a floral. What I have in this one, I have got some dark pink, and I also put in just a little bit of black oxide to make sure I do get a really nice dark pink color. This one in here is called, <laughs> had to double check, it is French Rose. Now it was a My Micro Obsession um, mica, but if you are here in Australia and you haven't already heard, My Micro Obsession have sold out to Heirloom, so she'll be stocking them all from now on. And this one in here is a Heirloom um, mica. I got it in this week. It is called Green Sage and it is such a beautiful dark green. I don't need a lot of that one. We're going to do some piping and then into my big bucket here I'm going to put in some titanium dioxide to make a nice white base. So I'm going to get these colors all mixed in. <laughs> My fragrance oil I have cedar rose from Ilux and it is described as having a little bit of cedar and then some rose and it does smell really good if you have caught any of my sort of previous rose um, soap making videos I'm not a huge fan of rose fragrance oil I just don't think it smells anything like roses um, it's just one of those things that I'd much rather smell roses um, out in the garden but then again I'm also not a fan of roses I prefer my gerberas and my sunflowers and all the really bright happy ones out there um, this has gone really funny hasn't right oh look at that it's accelerating oh no um, that's accelerating badly. That is the first time I've ever had a rose fragrance that has accelerated on me. So let me stop yakking. <laughs> Let's get this all stirred in. The design idea I had for this one is definitely um, going to change because we're going to end up with soap in a pot by the looks of things. Um, yeah, let's get all this mixed in and then we'll see what happens. This is not going to be the pretty, pretty soap I'd hoped for. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is disgusting. This has even gone, it's got the most disgusting um, feel to it as well. Oh, this is not going to work. That is <laughs> okay. Well, talk about um, soap on a stick. Oh, <laughs> it's not even gonna 
think I'm out of there. Oh dear, this is probably even worse than dragon's blood, I'm going to say. Um, that's stuck in there. All right, let me have a think about this and decide <laughs> what I'm going to do because um, it's not even heating up. This is icy cold, so I don't even think waiting for this to gel is going to work. This is um, a write-off, I think. Okay, so... First of all, apologies for the noise in the background. Someone sounds like they're getting trees taken down. Um, but I've, <laughs> I really need to do something with this because this is going to be an absolute waste and an expensive waste when soap doesn't work the way that we want it to. What I was hoping it would do while I left it sit over on the side was for it to gel. So you can see that this one has started to gel. And sometimes when it gels like this, you can then start to pop it into a mold and get a fairly decent looking soap out of it. It. Problem is it's not gelling very evenly and it's really really crumbly. I did post a picture of this on my Patreon Facebook um, group page and I loved one of the ideas. It was to um, scoop it out and make um, ice cream scoops. Unfortunately because it's so crumbly it's just not working. They're not looking nice. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it everywhere. Um, so that idea is not working but if this is a lot smoother that is an absolute fantastic idea. Instead what I'm going to do to try and rescue it is I'm going to hot process it instead. So what I need to do is find a scoop. So I've got my stainless steel spoon here and I am going to put all of this into the crock pot. Hopefully we can get it all out of here. worse if you've seen any of my dragon's blood um, videos I'll leave a link up in the corner because they are just some of the funniest videos to actually go and watch and dragon's blood sets up really quick in the pot but dragon's blood um, does actually still stay um, smooth would be the word it doesn't set solid like that in the pot so even though it is set like really 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 thick you can still get it out of the pot and do something with it. Um, this cedar rose <laughs> definitely trumps um, dragon's blood by a mile. You could just sell soap crumbles, I suppose. <laughs> a new trend. Hopefully as that starts to melt down, that will fit into the pot. A lot better than what it is right now let's get these pinks out and into here as well these is a little bit easier because I said these are starting to gel so they have gone that sort of thicker gooier sort of stage of gelling it's why when you are making soaps you should really resist that sort of urge to poke and prod to see when they're ready because if your soaps are gelling in the middle they go soft like this and if you push on the top you likely to put a big hole in the middle if it is gelling like that. Let's get this dark pink out. Eww. It does smell really good. It smells really really good actually. Really like the smell got a feeling I'm gonna have to put this into the bigger um, crock pot I think after I finished this soap today I have just made another rose soap which you will see the video for that one after this one um, but I've made an absolute mess <laughs> so I think someone's telling me today that we're not meant to be soaping because I don't think that's all gonna fit in there I'm gonna have to get the bigger crock pot out all right we've got the bigger one out Thank goodness I have a dishwasher. Did I just make a bigger mess? <laughs> yeah, today, this is definitely the last soap for today. And I'm going to leave the rest till tomorrow. I had so many plans for different soaps today. It wasn't funny, but um, I think this is a really good sign to give up today. Anyhow, I also have that green 
leftovers so let's pour this in so as I said I have just made another rose soap and I used this green um, to do the piping with let's squeeze all of that out all right so now that we've got everything in here I'm going to turn this on to low and the idea is I want this to warm up and kind of almost force it into a bit more of a gel phase and it's what people call melting the soap and it's really that you've pushed it into that gel phase it's become nice and warm it gets really nice and fluid once it does that we'll be able to give it just a little bit of a mix so we get a, some interesting color through it not just splotches and then I'm gonna let it cook for about half an hour before I pop it into a mold so I'm just gonna leave my lid on here because I know that there was nothing missing out of this recipe it was just purely a really naughty fragrance I don't need to add anything in here so no water or anything like that it just needs to warm up and become nice and soft so we'll be back soon to have a look at it So this has been cooking for about half an hour now. You can see that it has gone really soft and gloopy and is much more manageable than what it was. <laughs> and definitely not going to be the prettiest of soaps out there. But we are still going to get a soap. Now because this is basically sped through its saponification process and we've had this cooking for a little bit I can add some added extras into this and what I have here are some pink jojoba beads um, and usually if you try and add these into your cold process soap um, too early they will or can go brown but when you pop them into your hot process soaps they should stay that really nice color and it's just going to give this a little bit of exfoliating texture through here so I'm going to give that a good stir I'm going to turn the heat off of that one I'm going to grab my mold back and then I'm all I'm going to do is start spooning this in here hopefully we won't end up with too many um, air pockets in here we'll give it a really good smack down once it is all in the mold let's try and get that green a little bit more broken up there actually giving it a good knock down on my more solid table this is a solid bench underneath my top here but the acrylic is a little bit more delicate so I can't give it that really good knock down on the acrylic without risking breaking it so it's gonna finish scooping all this out giving it a good knock down every so often pot this has had a really good knockdown on the side just to try and get out any air bubbles and things because this is now hitting the cool air we're sitting about 22 degrees in the studio today this is already set up um, quite firm it's still soft to touch but there's no way I'm going to be able to do any tops on this so I'm going to leave it as is and um, what I'm going to do is leave it sit here I could possibly even end up cutting this afternoon but if not I'll leave it here for about 24 hours and we'll be back in just a moment we'll cut it open and we'll see what sort of pattern we have got on the inside okay so it is the next day I ended up leaving it overnight simply because I did go and make another rose soap after making this one and that will be the video that comes up um, on the weekend um, but I did make a bit of a mess while making that one I then decided to go and do some cleaning up and I just continued to make more and more mess just every time I touched anything it just all went wrong so I thought well rather than I'm molding it in the afternoon as I'd planned to I'm just going to leave it overnight and we'll come back um, the next day and cut it so we are going to go through and have a look at what we may have on the inside here oh it's got quite hard and thunk <laughs> so let's grab one out in the middle and it's actually not that bad really it's definitely not the prettiest it actually looks like fruitcake <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's not the prettiest of soaps but you know what it is still soap and as such it will go into the it's still soap category over on the website because it's still going to be a really nice bar of soap to actually use and the little bits of your hoba beads very hard to actually see them on camera but they are in there they're going to add a slight exfoliation into the soap so really i did this video because I wanted to show you most people would have actually just have decided to give up and throw that bit of soap away and write it off but when there is absolutely nothing wrong with the mix other than just a really really bad fragrance oil don't give up don't throw it out just pop it into your slow cooker and make a, um, a hot processed soap like this as I said it is not the prettiest of soaps but it is still soap and what I have found is with my It's Still Soap category, the soaps in there sell out really quickly. And what I think it is, is that customers love them because they don't feel so guilty for actually using the bars of soap that aren't all pretty and piped and everything else. So um, don't ever let your soaps go to waste. Don't ever panic. The more you panic, the, um, the more mess and more chaos you're going to cause if you just step back and think about it for a moment you will be able to come up with something like this and still end up with a bar of soap so I hope you have enjoyed watching all of the debacle that went on behind making this rose soap if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and if you um, watch out for the weekend's video you'll actually see what this soap should have looked like when I bring out the next rose soap so thank you so much for watching and until the next time I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then bye